All right, guys, welcome to my channel. I thought I would do a comparison of the two moon cool trikes because they just recently introduced the Pro. I see a lot of people on Facebook going, hey, what's the difference between the Pro and the regular TK1? So with the Pro here, we're going to call the Pro. We're going to call this the TK1. So they're both the TK1. One's a Pro, but we're to distinguish the two. This one's the TK1, and this one's the Pro. So the Pro right here... There's a big difference in the two bikes, as you see. They step this down. By stepping this down, if you notice where the uh, chain ring is here on both bikes, you have a much lower um, way of getting over this bike now. So they've made it so that you can step over this bar. It's, I believe, 12.2 inches to get over this bar. And I think this one, if I recall right, is around 16, but um, I'm not sure. Um, other than that, the bikes are physically pretty much the same, other than that they changed the step over height in it. Um, they both look the same. You probably wouldn't know the difference when, you, when you're when buying them. Um, this one appears that it comes with the seat, but I don't know that. Um, this one here has got the regular seat on. Other than that, the baskets look the same. The tires are the same. Uh, everything about it's the same, except for this change here. And... There's some big changes that they did on some of the components on it. So um, let's look at this. You've also got the uh, colors in the TK1 versus the Pro. You have a, a lot more, not a lot more, but you got a couple more colors available in the TK1 than you do in the Pro. But I do know the Pro may possibly be coming out with some different colors. So this is going to show you here 95%. Uh, pre-assembled on both of them so nothing changes there your range goes up on your pro and the reason why your range goes up is your battery goes up so you got a 20 amp hour battery on the pro you got a 14 5 amp hour on the uh, tk1 the speed limit is the same on both um, so there's nothing changed there um, 450 pounds on both capacity nothing changed there your peak um Motor power wattage is a thousand on the Pro, uh, TK1 and the Pro. It's fifteen hundred. Reason being is you have a five hundred watt uh, motor on the TK1 and on the Pro you have a seven hundred and fifty watt motor. So that's going to give you a little more power going up a hill, stuff like that. If you don't have hills, then it's probably not something that you even care about because the bike's not going to go any faster because they're both. Um, governed at 16 miles an hour so you're not going to get any more speed because you got a bigger motor it would only really come into play if you were i don't know going to tow something or you had hills to deal with so i have hills so it's definitely beneficial to me um so that's the difference as far as that goes we're going to go down and we can look um we're missing some of the uh, kind of you know the pink and the purple um so that's different. They're both in stock right now, which is good. You know, that doesn't happen all the time. Your free accessories, you're getting three free accessories on both of them. So nothing different there. Um, I did notice here uh, something that uh, I find strange. And it may just be they didn't put it on yet because this bike is new. But this one here, you can buy the extended warranty on it. And they're not showing the extended warranty on this um, but I'm assuming it probably same uh, on both bikes, but I don't know that. Um, other than that, you get the one-year warranty on both. They are both certified uh, UL2849, so that's a good thing, especially if you live in New York. Um, you have a 30-day return policy on both. Nothing changes there. So let's look at the size and the fit. We'll bring that up. Um, all right, guys, let's go over the uh, actual specs here of both bikes while we get them up on the screen. So we've got um, the conflicting things. I was looking at this earlier, so I'm a little... Um, uh, I, I got to see this bike in person. So I am going to have this bike hopefully on Friday, the Pro. I already have the TK1, so I can look at them. But I thought I'd just go over this, so give you guys some sort of an idea what's going on with these two bikes. So the wheelbase on this, and the wheelbase is measured from here to here on both bikes. And they're saying that the Pro wheelbase is 44.1 inches, 
and the wheelbase is 36 inches on the TK1. So this is going to be a much longer bike. Um, they look the same, but as, as far as the numbers go, it's a longer bike. So that's to be determined when I get it in. Here's your standover height. It was 16 inches, like I said. So this bar is going to be at 16 inches. And this one is at 12.2 inches. So this bar is much lower here. So you can get over that much easier if you have some sort of a handicap that makes it so you can't lift your foot up much. So that's good. The handlebar length is... 26 inches on one and 27.2 on the pro so it's a little bit uh, longer on that the total length on the bike is 65 inches now see this is where the con you know i said it contradicted itself so they're saying the wheelbase is 44 and 36 overall length is 65 inches on the pro and the overall length on the uh, TK1 is 66. So the TK1 is actually one inch longer. Um, so the wheelbase on this, I wouldn't trust what that says. Like I said, I'm going to have both bikes here. We will compare it at that point. I promise I'll get a video out as soon as I can. Yeah, a lot of things just don't add up on this. So the width of this bike is 28.4 and the TK1 is 29 so it's a little bit wider on the tk1 not by much um, the seat height is 30.3 is the lowest it can go 30.3 on this is the lowest it can go but this goes up to 39 this goes up to 42 so you can get a uh, longer leg person on the tk1 pro um, the handlebars on the bike are a little bit wider on the Pro. Not by much, but a little bit. Uh, the baskets on them are a little different also. So, um, if we can believe these numbers. So, this is 5.7 um, over here, 5.5 five on this one. So, they changed up the front basket a little bit. The rear basket is coming in at uh, the same. So the rear basket hasn't changed. The front one, according to this, has changed a little bit. The wheel size is 20 inches on both by 3-inch tires. And the seat size is a little bit wider on the TK1 Pro. So uh, those are the differences on that. Now we'll look at the components on the two. All right, guys, let's briefly go over these uh, components on this bike. So you got a slight difference in weight. Uh, the TK1 Pro is a slight, slight bit heavier. You won't even notice it because it's less than a pound. Uh, suspension forks on both. You got a hydroform frame on this one here. And I don't know... I. A hydrofoam frame is, is totally different. It's something that they're all manufacturing are doing now. Uh, most of them are coming out with that. They're a much more rigid frame than just the plain aluminum frame. So that's that's a good thing. Um, other than that, handlebar width is a little bit wider on the Pro. So you got the big thing here. You got a backrest with your seat. So it definitely comes with a backrest where this one just says it comes with a seat. You got a six speed. So that's a big thing right there, guys. You're going to be able to pedal more with this and be able to uh, have speeds on it so that you can adjust your pedaling according to your speed. So that's a big deal to a lot of people. If you're not going to pedal anyways, you're going to hit your throttle or you don't really care, you're not going to shift it, then you don't need to spend $200 unless you need the bigger motor because you do have the 750 on the uh, Pro and you've got the 500 on the other. So... Uh, both of them assembled uh, the same, 95%. You've got seven colors on the TK1. You've got five colors on the Pro. Um, other than that, your load capacity is 450, and your rider height is the same. So um, all in all, about the same. Let's hit the specs on both bikes and see what we have here. So right here, here's, again, your big difference. 1,000-watt uh, peak. 
500 watt motor 750 watt motor on this one 20 amp hour battery you know this is what you're paying for here this this and your speed so you've got uh your speed on it your controller on this one is a peak of 20 amps you're 24 on this one because the motor size went up to a 750 but again it's capped out at 16 your charge time on this is seven hours i did notice that because of the bigger battery that it was a third uh three amp hour charger versus the two amp hour charger that comes with the um tk1 so right here on charger you can see it's two amp hours and it's three here so it's going to charge a little bit faster even though it's a bigger battery this has between six and eight hours this is seven hours to charge and um you got a torque sensor on this thing too that's a big difference so you've got a canis sensor on this bike what a canis sensor mean is if you're rotating the pedals the bike's moving on a torque sensor, if you're not pressing on the pedals, the bike isn't going to move um, the way the canis sensor moves. You need to put effort into the pedals so that it goes along. So if you don't want to pedal, don't get this bike, like I said. But on the other hand, the torque sensor is going to allow you to control this bike much better. You're going to be able to pedal it and go only a certain miles an hour because if you're not putting the effort in basically a canvas sensor bike you're hitting the throttle when you're rotating your feet on the torque sensor it goes by the pressure that you're applying to your feet and it knows how fast you're trying to go so it will change your speed which is very nice we have the uh, same half twist throttle um it star union brakes and so on and so forth so the rest of it's pretty much the same all right comparing these two bikes together guys we've got two bikes that look very similar um, but the tk1 is going to give you more performance if you're looking for performance it's going to give you that stronger motor and it's going to give you control with the torque sensor and you're going to be able to control your pedal speed with your six speed sh uh, shifting on that thing so whereas the uh, tk1 it just has one speed so when you pedal you 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 sometimes you can't keep up with your pedals hopefully on the tk1 pro we will be able to keep up with our pedals on that because we will shift the gears on it all right, guys, we got a little difference up in here, too. So the parking brake on this now looks like it's a little red lever. Um, so that's a little bit different. This is your six-speed shifter here. This is a thumb shifter. You press this button here to um, go up on the gears, and there's a lower button. You press the lower button, and then it'll, it will come down on the gears. The um, looks like a little bit different... Um, grip also the grip is different looking than the one that came on the tk1 i don't know i actually probably like the grip on the tk1 better than i like this grip to tell you the truth but uh because they got like little uh pads for your uh hand on the tk1 versus the pro which this is a round handle both the folding bikes like i said if that's something you're going to do um i never fold my bike so i don't really care the other thing we have on this bike is we now have a color display on it if that's something that's a big deal to people you know did they look a little bit better with a color display yeah i guess so i could really care less as so long as i can see it with my glasses or my sunglasses on i'm fine with it i don't care if it's one color or six colors so but it is a little bit uh, better looking display on it so um hopefully it it can be seen when you have your glasses on because a lot of these you can't see with your glasses on all right, guys, so in conclusion here, um, which is better? In my opinion, the TK1 Pro, I would pay the extra $200 for it, but does, that doesn't mean that everybody's going to have uh, the same needs that I have. These needs for this bike for the extra $200 is well worth the $200. Um, but if you live in a flat area, you only go out for a two to five mile ride um, and you throttle a lot, then you probably want the TK1 um, 
folding uh, bike over the TK1 Pro. So the Pro is going to be much better in a hilly area. It's going to be much better for people that want to go out and do long distance with it. Um, if you're going to pedal or if you're going to, um, you know, want to shift, you definitely want the TK1 Pro. Um, if you want to control your speed better, you're going to want the TK1 Pro because that torque center is going to make all the difference in the world. Um, until you experience the, the two, Again, a can of sensor, it might as well, in my opinion, be a throttle. If you're pedaling, the throttle's on. With a torque sensor, if you're not pushing on your feet, you're just rotating them, you're not be going to be going that fast. So that's what the differences in these two bikes are. Like I said, when I get mine in, we'll do a much more in-depth uh, look at these things. But I did want to see... I did want to tell you guys the difference as far as I saw it in the specs, and uh, I get it out there. So, guys, if you got anything out of this thing, please hit that subscribe button on your way out. I'd appreciate it. Hit that like. And if you are interested in buying one of these bikes, I have $200 off, guys. So, um, you got to go down, check my code, use my link, and you will save $200 on either one of these bikes. So, definitely worth doing, and uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching my video today. And if you are interested in buying a bike or something, please check with my affiliate links. That helps the channel out greatly. Again, guys, hit that like and subscribe on the way out. And thank you very much for watching. You guys are awesome. Thank you.